there's a good chance that this world is just a game of Monopoly. And Takashi, he just got the get out of jail free card. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Hey, don't forget to check out the link of the day in the description. BBN, Jack Frost, what's up, party people? I right, so, yeah. Dude, all right, so, on July 27th, I put out a video, okay? July 27th, I put out a video, and it said 6 9 is trying to get away from Treyway, right? But hold on, we're going to put that on the back burner for a minute. I'm going to come back around to that. I want to point something out real quick. Okay. Remember I've been telling y'all that the reason why the feds had to pick up 6 9 was because of the interview that he did on The Breakfast Show. The Breakfast Show. The Breakfast Club. I've been saying that, correct? Okay. So, I said two reasons why. I said, one, he was just talking too much. And he was messing up their investigation. That's one reason. The second reason why I said was, and this is when I put the three reasons out, when I said, one, he disrespected Treyway by saying that he started it. Two, besides disrespecting Treyway and saying that he started it, he also then started calling people dirty bloods. And three, he said that uh, don't nobody work for him. He's firing everyone. And, and, and no one is Treyway unless he wants them to be Treyway. Remember, that was in the previous video. I said all of these things. So, comes to find out that, remember that wiretap that they was talking about that the feds heard? And I said, look, that's just the feds saying that they have a wiretap. All right? First of all, shout out to DJ Academics. This is where I got this information from, and this is my interpretation of that information. It's not a regurgitation of what he said. Copy. So they're speaking on it and an individual that, 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 they, that they're labeling as Jones and another individual that they're labeling, labeling as Jordan is speaking. And Jones says to Jordan, 6 9 is trying to dry snitch at the same time, homie. You know to know what the dry snitching was? Remember when 6 9 was talking about the money? I believe when 6 9 was talking about the money, he was messing up the Fed's investigation. Because that's what that's one of the things that the Feds was most likely investigating. Because all of that money talk that he was talking about when he was saying that they were robbing him, and he didn't name exactly who was robbing him, he was speaking allegedly. Allegedly about Treyway, allegedly, that's what we were speaking about, so when he says 6 9 is trying to dry snitch at the same time, homie, he talking about how 6 9 was basically talking about how he wasn't getting the money he was supposed to be getting when he started talking about the numbers, remember in a couple of other videos I keep talking about where's the money at? I've said this numerous times. Where's the money at? I'm still saying, where's the money at? Anyway, then Jones goes on to say, but you keep, but he keeps saying, fuck Treyway. Fuck that nigga. Treyway. Ain't no nigga. Treyway. Fuck Treyway. You know when 6ix9ine said that? I'm, I'm reading something, y'all. I'm personally not saying fuck Treyway. Let's just get that clear. But remember when 6 9 was saying that on The Breakfast Club? He was disrespecting them. You understand what I'm saying? That's why the feds had to come get him. 
That's why the feds had to get everybody. After that, Jordan says, laughing, I'm going to feed him, though. You could, you could, I'm not going to throw in, you could, uh, whatever you think that means. How about that? Somebody is telling somebody that they got a, that there's a problem with somebody. And then they, and he's basically saying, don't worry about it because whatever the fucking feeding him means, he's about to do it. And that's going to solve their problem. So I'm not sure what that means, but you can just guess from what everything is implying. When he says that, Jordan says, yo, what you doing? Damn. I don't even want to talk on the phone, homie. We got to meet up and talk. All right, so just so we could be clear about what I stated so far, just so we could be clear on this, because I know I'm going slow as shit. Right there, right there, they basically say the same thing that I previously said, that because of that interview on The Breakfast Club is why they decided that they was going to go get 6 9 and that they had some they had some plans for him remember i kept saying the reason why they was going to go get 6 9 is cuz what he did on the breakfast club i gave the three reasons and basically from what they're saying right here all three of those reasons are valid with all that being said with all that being said i think this right here is the part that's going to actually get 6 9 off for multiple different reasons. Okay, first, I want to say that uh, this is obviously, because I believe this was two different conversations that they were having. They had everybody's phone tapped. This is two different conversations. So this conversation I'm about to tell you right now, uh, whoever the Jordan guy is, was not on the phone. Okay. So Jones is speaking to someone called Individual One. I don't know why they don't want to just say who the Individual One is. I don't know. You have to tell to ask the police. I don't know why that guy's name or that woman's name or I don't know, that alien's name is not, I don't know. Who, who knows who that is? Anyway, so Individual One is talking to Jones. Jones says, that's a fact. And he just canceled all of his shows. OK, so first, the first thing I want to point out is. He just canceled all of his shows. Why would that mean anything? Except for if he did the shows, it would be beneficial to Jones and whoever Jones is with. You would have to assume. Right. That's why him canceling the shows means something. OK, so individual one says and he ain't a gang member no more. He ain't a gang member no more. All right. Jones says. Nah, he ain't nothing. Then individual one says, that's what, that's what Jordan needs to make sure he do. Jones says, yeah. The individual one says, just tell that nigga that he not a gang member no more. He kicked out the whip. He was never a gang member. Nigga. Jordan needs to like expose him. All right. So we could just be real click why this is so important. Takashi's entire ties to these guys is that he was actually part of the gang. Now, when you have the gang saying that he's such a low level member that he isn't part of the gang anymore and also have one person saying that not only is he not part of the gang anymore, but he was never part of the gang. Now that can lead to an extortion case on Takashi's side. Now what Takashi needs to make sure that he does or his lawyers at least may need to make sure that they do is make sure that there is separate trials that they are not tried together. Because if they're in separate trials and they are not tried together, then Takashi could then, and his lawyers, their defense could then be that it was extortion and he was scared for his life. You see? Now, why did the police have to pick him up again? 
Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.